Do you want to know about the best men's fragrances with high sex appeal right now? Then this is the video for you. For a fragrance to have high sex appeal, it has to be something really special. It has to have something that gives it a seductive vibe, but at the same time elegant and classy. It's not enough if it just smells good, there's gotta be something more. Something that stands out and makes you intrigued by the scent. Something that makes you wonder how it would feel to be closer to the person wearing that fragrance. But of course, the scent itself will never be enough to have a high sex appeal as a person. A whole a lot more goes into that, like personality, style, chemistry, manners, and so much more. But a fragrance with high sex appeal will enhance the experience of the impression you make on others, and it will probably also make you feel good, knowing that you smell amazing. Before I let you know which fragrances I have picked out with high sex appeal according to me, please comment with a fragrance you think have high sex appeal. Like the video, it really helps me out, and subscribe if you are not all already a subscriber. And if you are, I just want to say thank you, it means a lot. If you feel like supporting my work with the channel, you can leave a super thanks here on YouTube or buy me a coffee, there is a link in the description. Now let's check out the fragrances, starting with Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal Pour Homme Parfum. I'm a huge fan of the original Scandal Pour Homme. That caramel sweetness is addictive and intoxicating. For some, the original is a bit too sweet, then this might be better for you because because it's not as sweet as the original. This is aromatic, woody, spicy, and vanilla sweet. The top note is geranium, the middle note, tonka bean, and in the base, there's sandalwood. This dries down to something woody and aromatic with a hint of sweetness. The sweetness is more vanilla sweet instead of caramel sweet like the original, and the woody sandalwood is soft and elegant. Carner Barcelona Cuirs. To me, most leather fragrances have a high sex appeal. They are bold, they don't apologize for them, and they demand attention. Cuirs from Carner Barcelona is a woody leather fragrance with oud and spicy notes with a powdery touch of violet. The top notes are saffron and caraway. The middle notes are a mix of sandalwood, guyacwood and cedar together with violet. And the base has quite many notes and the notes that stands out to me is oud, leather, French labdanum, musk and tonka bean. Cuir is an elegant woody leather fragrance. The combination of the raw leather and the kind of polished oud makes it stand out and gives it sex appeal. Kenso Om EDP. This is amazing. This is a leather fragrance that is marine and aromatic and is one of the most unique leather fragrances as I have smelled. It's sort of marine and aquatic, but yet deep and dark. There's something almost sparkling about it and it stands out. The top note is C note, the middle note is leather, and the base is patchouli. I can't stop sniffing this one, and I think it's one of the most interesting and at the same time mass appealing leather scents I have ever smelled. Paco Rabanne Fabulous Me. All of the Pa Collection fragrances from Paco Rabanne smells amazing. There is not a single one that I don't like, but some of them also have a high sex appeal, like Fabulous Me. This one is woody, powdery, warm, spicy and fruity, with pumpkin in the top, rhubarb in the middle and sandalwood in the base. This is almost milky and creamy balsamic in a way, and that together with the tart, fruity rhubarb smells delicious to my nose. Frederick Mal Musk Ravager. Musk Ravager is really something special. It's vanilla focused, it's warm and spicy, and it's musky and powdery. The top notes are fresh and citrusy with lavender, tangerine, and bergamot. The midst is spicy with cinnamon and cloves. And the base is sweet, warm, and musky with vanilla, tonka bean, amber, and woody notes. This is a thick vanilla fragrance with a spicy side and a musk wrapping the whole thing up. It stands out and it smells really alluring. This is one that I don't smell so often, so when you are wearing this you will definitely smell unique, which is a really good thing. We do have more fragrances to check out. I just want to ask you to like the video and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a super thanks or buy me a coffee to support my work with the channel. I really appreciate it. Mansera Red Tobacco. So tobacco notes in a fragrance gives it sex appeal. Most people do enjoy tobacco notes in fragrances, 
colors and there's just something mass appealing with that sweetness and warmth. Red Tobacco is a beast when it comes to performance and you have to get through the harsh opening before you can enjoy the beautiful, sweet, warm, spicy and woody dry down. But when you get to that dry down, it smells like nothing else. Absolutely incredible. The top notes are spicy, fruity and sweet with cinnamon, saffron, green apple, white pear, incense and old. In the mids there's jasmine and in the base sweet and warm tobacco together with Madagascar vanilla, amber and woody notes. This is amazing and the sweet tobacco together with the old and the incense gives it sex appeal. Missoni Wave. Normally I don't think of citrus fresh and marine fragrances as sexy fragrances but Missoni Wave is something absolutely amazing and definitely sexy. It's energizing and uplifting and it just makes you feel good and happy. Missoni Wave is aromatic, citrus fresh, marine and spicy with sea notes and citrus in the top. An aromatic mix of lavender, clary sage, rosemary and pelargonium in the midst and vanilla orchid and oak moss in the base. This is beautiful and sexy. I have gotten so many comments about this one before I tried it and I can really see why. It's amazing and I should also say that it's definitely a safe blind buy. Tom Ford Noir Extreme Parfum. Both Noir and Noir Extreme from Tom Ford are amazing fragrances. Woody, powdery, spicy. Yeah, everything a fragrance needs to smell amazing. And Noir Extreme Parfum is like the others, warm, spicy, sweet, woody, but with a prominent leather note. The top notes are spicy and fresh with cardamom, ginger and citrus. In the midst, it's sweet with kulfi, orange blossom, rose and jasmine. And in the base, woody and sweet with vanilla and tonka bean together with leather and suede. If you don't like leather, you should just stick with Noir or Noir Extreme. But if you do like leather and you want a fragrance with high sex appeal, you should try the Parfum. Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb Extreme. We have another one with tobacco coming up and this one is fresh spicy, sweet and aromatic and it's one of the best from Victor and Rolf. The notes are vanilla, tobacco, saffron, cinnamon and cube the performance on this one is crazy good and it's a compliment getter that will get you so many compliments from both women and men. It makes you smell like a sweet cinnamon roll together with tobacco. I love both saffron and cinnamon notes in a spicy mix and that with some sweetness always smells attractive and alluring. Azaro the most wanted parfum. The most wanted the original is an amazing sweet and sexy fragrance with high sex appeal. Azaro the most wanted parfum is another amazing sweet and sexy fragrance. This has similarities with the original but this one is less sweet and it's darker, deeper and more woody than the original. There's ginger in the top, woody notes in the midst and vanilla in the base. This is still a sweet fragrance but the sweetness is more vanilla sweet and not like the original caramel sweet. I think both the original and this one has a high sex appeal and I'm going back and forth as to which one is my favorite. But what I'm not doubting even for a second is that this one has high sex appeal. Tell me in the comments about a fragrance that you think has high sex appeal and what makes a fragrance sexy to you. Like the video, don't forget to subscribe and if you want to support my work you can leave a super thanks under the video here on YouTube or buy me a coffee. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!